I try to pull him into the sunlight so he can sizzle. Ah, that's going to take a full action. Okay, so I'll just uh, have him sitting there with a rope on him. Ready for me to tuck. Yeah. Also, DM, I done fucked up. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I needed more. to do a charisma saving throw for my strength of the grave bonus. So when I hit zero hit points, I can make a charisma saving throw. On a success, I instead drop to one hit point. False life is the spell I have. I was confusing the two. Oh yeah, false life is for someone else. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, make a. So we'll just assume you made the charisma saving throw, and you're going to return. So not temp hit points. You actually have yeah. one hit point. Correct. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. So you come back to life, and you have 22 points of damage. Okay. I like realized I was like, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Vampire spawn two. Um, Thera, you watch that giant rent in its flesh start to knit itself together. And you actually, since you really launched in there, you see some of the bones start to grow back together. Ew. And it is going to leap up into the ceiling, but you are going to get a free attack of opportunity. I'm going to use my axe. I'm yeah. sure you guys are shocked. It is that is the one that's in your hand. So. Yeah. Um, I need to target that one, right? Am I? Uh, you can just drop the attack dice right on top of it if you want. Vampire two. Is... Yeah, vampire two. Isn't it still entangled? Uh, vampire three is entangled. Three is entangled. Uh, uh, okay. Well, but that's a definitely a hit. <laughs> Kill it. Uh, yeah. So as it as it leaps straight up in the air, you windmill another axe through the air, and as it goes up, the axe comes down and it just splits in two, like cutting a hot dog. Yes, GG. and it immediately just turns to ash and dust. Oh, I'll while, buffy. while you were doing that. This other one that is restrained, but fortunately it is standing right next to its target. Oh, me. Takes, takes a swipe at you. Rude. And misses. Perfect. As it tries, in fact, as it tries to rear back its claws, the second it rears back that one arm behind it, uh, a vine shoots up from the ground and just grabs its arm and pulls it back around. And it does nothing. Says no, no. It got told no. <laughs> Just casting that into the air. I thought I had him targeted. Crap. Did I untarget? Apparently. I did, didn't I? Crap. It hits. Just roll damage on it. Do you well, want me to roll target it? it? Will that fix? <laughs> I mean, you can just drag the drop damage on Vampire Spawn 3. Yeah. Uh, okay, just drop it on his face on the combat tracker? No, on no. the map. Yeah. Like, literally just drag your damage thing. Oh, whenever I roll it? Okay. No, just the when you grab the dice, your, your thing for the roll. Oh, I usually just dice. push the button, but... Um, Either way you want to do it. There we go. There we go. It did damage to him. <laughs> All right. He's hit. Yeah. Just more of the angry silver lightning since it seems to be working for Morgan today. Just an eldritch blast kind of day. She's feeling it. It speaks to her. Um, I stand, which takes my half of my movement, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Am I still at disadvantage if I try a ranged attack? Yes, because it is at close range. And if I try to move, it gets attack of opportunity. Yeah, since you've already used ah. most of your movement to okay. move. Um. Take um, it. I'm going to... Take a potion of healing. 
No. Mm. Hmm. I'm just gonna try to attack it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, whoa. Oh, it's it's at advantage. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's all tangled up in some tasty white vines from all that. Covered in vines. Does not like getting stabbed. A lot of a lot of hissing going on. You can tell I'm not used to like using a dagger because I like pull it out and I just like stab it in the shoulder like real quick and pull it back like, oh I actually hit. <laughs> I like uh, to think that woe was actually in character. Yes. <laughs> like when it, when it wasn't blocked or you didn't miss, she was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> yes, pretty much. <laughs> I, I look over. Yeah. Because... I look over at Shava and I'm like, "It's fun, right?" Yeah. <laughs> Your oldness. <laughs> yeah. In the background, just clapping. <laughs> Living for Shava's character arc this episode. She's talking to people. <laughs> she intimidated somebody. Things, like... Look, <laughs> who's dead now, by the way? <laughs> yeah, an almost eight foot tall barbarian that is just at this point covered in vampire blood. It's just like fun, right? So yeah, yeah. Probably. and I nod like excited. That is a hit. It is a hit. Fantastic. So, uh. Instead of trying to get up close to the very angry vampire, uh, I, I decide to send in my my swarm of... I like to think that it's my mushroom spores just kind of like sprouting all over him and just like they have tearing him apart. And I do one oh. damage with it. But hey, <laughs> you know that it still hurt him. All right. Um... It's gonna be real shocking, guys. I am still <laughs> angry. I, right now, I think I'm just high on the fight. There. I'm, I'm gonna sure swing okay. that axe <laughs> again. Oh dang! Okay, cool. Well, yeah. That... Yeah, yeah. That was definitely a hit, and oh, that, was that was a lot beautiful. of damage. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> if that thing is Whoa. not dead. It's, so when you swing that axe, big overhand swing, um, maybe it was an accident, maybe it was on purpose, but instead of hitting it with the blade, you, it's actually flipped and it just gets the flat of the axe and just kind of explodes, like hitting a pumpkin with an anvil. Perfect. Mm. I am covered in goo. Yeah. Uh, Shava, you welcome to the Covered in Goo Club. Because that was the splatter zone. Oh, it was <laughs> full on the splatter front, zone. Yeah, full on front <laughs> row of Gallagher right there. Okay. Just are the gnomes <laughs> the only ones that are like not covered gory. in yeah. blood? Well, yeah, yeah, might have a little bit. Yeah, but... yeah, probably has a little bit on like his hand where he stabbed the one. But uh, yeah, Cramp's looking clean. Yeah, I I Fastidious. had a vampire near Piop, so he should have a little goo. He might. He might. And you are out of combat. Yay. Thank Jesus. Shava's just gonna sit down <laughs> and start wiping blood from her face. Just very tired. <laughs> I go walk over, pick up my arrows as I splash off the goo of blood and roll up the rope that I was hopefully going to use, but comes I'm off quite easily. I'm assuming that these are like just the wood he was talking about using stacks of wood, not actual grades. <laughs> Is that... Yeah. I, I'm yeah, gonna sit... Just, that's just... lumber. I'm gonna sit there for a minute. I I forgot about her briefly, but my familiar's probably hanging with me, and I'm just gonna pet her because of the gore and the sadness of my life collecting my thoughts. Can I open the rest of the windows in case any other... Unhappy yeah, undead can, decide to pop out. You can open all of them. Good. good. 
Furious just real pumped. She's got a lot of energy still. I want to go I'm muttering, check. I'm muttering to the Violet, the pseudo dragon, like, I had a feeling it was grave dirt. I, I, I knew it was grave dirt. Fuck. I suddenly have a thought, like, my head shoots up, and I'm like, somebody needs to check his body, because I heard a crack when Ooh. Cramp tripped him earlier. So I don't think he's alive. Yeah, I so we may need to behead, behead him, just in case, as a thought. You just stab him through the heart with a piece of wood. Or that. You got lots of wood. I can just chop his wow. head off. You could do that, too. We have the bones. We have oh, some we bones. Have some bones. We have not confirmed if those are actually the right bones. Now well, we gotta take them back to the priest, but I want to check O. Henrik's body just to make sure or see if he has anything on him. That we might find useful. Uh, as you rifle through his, you know, clothing, he's got nothing. Just you find a couple like. <laughs> Some sort of like, maybe like pecans <laughs> in, in one pocket. Maybe he was saving for a snack. Oh, this poor old fucker. Alright, anybody ready to go back to uh, the priest and give him back some bones? What, what time is it? Um... I don't know what it was like. It was like mid-afternoon when you guys got to this house, so it's probably uh, ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, cast Good oh. Berry to make myself some berries that uh, could heal me up some? You do you, boo. Okay. Java, do you need a healing potion? I'm gonna take one. I'm not just one hit point. One. I have one hit point, so I'm just gonna say I'm ready for bed. I would like to get clean, and I would like to go stay in the inn that we got rooms at. Don't want to go stay at the church. <laughs> um, we need to go do that to make sure the bones that we have are actually bones. But um, I I'm. I, I would like to, I already used one of our holy waters which we'll have to get more of so we're using that as payment I would like more holy water from the priest when we return the bones I announcing that to the group like we need more holy water because that came in came in handy Fuck. in a pinch <laughs> um I know I'm okay I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit here I... be good I am going to second Shava and just because Morgan's that bitch and I feel like she's covered in blood and it makes her unhappy. Um, I'm, I'm going to burn my last spell slot <laughs> and cast Disguise Self so that I can look clean again for my own well-being. Because this is his house, is there like a bath closet or like a place where I can get a bucket of water? A wash get up this? or something? Yeah. A... Uh, you remember that out like as you're approaching it off to the side of the house. Where mm -hmm. would you like to go? And I will just drag you. Um, uh, th there was indeed a little trough, like a little, maybe a little well pump. Um, I may wait until the cover of darkness. It's still somewhat light out, right? Uh huh. Because my concern is we're going to go out there covered in blood and he's going to be dead and we are going to be accused of killing a local. So I almost feel like we need to cover this up. Oh, absolutely. Probably smart. <laughs> absolutely. Before we leave. Like, let's... I'm just going to burn the house down. It's fine. <laughs> No, I mean, hey, that's actually not but a bad first, idea. We need to check. I, I'm going to search his room if uh, you're okay with that DM. You do you. 
Just percept Actually, away. Percepting away. I'm gonna hold off on that disguise self till I'm ready to leave the place since it's only good for an hour. But beautiful. Oh, yeah. Piop. Yeah, you do find in that same wardrobe that he was holding the bones in, you do find a little like bank box with the money in it. Yay! Stealing from the dead. Yep. Oh no, guys. I clicked out of the map. Oh. Please bring it back. <laughs> Hold, please. That's what I get for clicking things. Get out of here. Do do do. Uh, you found 12 Electrum pieces and 30 Silver pieces. They have been added to your party bank. Cool. And I'll refresh the map here in just a second. Thanks. Can I go inspect the Grave Dirt box now that we've killed the vampires? Feel free. Um, it is full of dirt, and it, you know, doesn't smell great. It's good dirt, though. It's like really rich black soil. You kind of figure if you were into gardening, this would be pretty great. So, by the way, just to uh, remind the party, there is a silver-plated steel longsword in our uh, inventory. I think it's just for show. It's the uh, okay. it's art. It's the one from what's his face. Okay, I was gonna say, you know, yeah, there's vampires. So yeah, that was there's that was werewolves. your uh, that was your one of your re your payments for delivering arena. Mm, they didn't have that's cash right. money, right. and it is definitely uh, even upon casual inspection from those of you that do not know anything other than the pointy end of swords. It's not a weapon. It is very much a showpiece. Um, the bones turned into unidentified bones in the party sheet. Oh, hold on. I deleted it because I accidentally gave it gave you two. So there you go. They're back. Gotcha. Cool. Um, I do have a question about the box that the vampire spawn came out of them. Like, were they human size, or is it like the Mary Poppins bag type of thing? Uh, the, the crates, the crates are probably about four foot tall, four foot wide. You could fit a person tall? in it. Okay. Okay. So I have an idea. That's never a good thing. It kind of a, it could be a good thing. So we got to technically hide said body in the first place. And there's tons of coffins downstairs. So what we could do is take him, stick him in a coffin, booby trap said coffin, and put a note on it for what's his face. The one that's supposed to be coming and pick up the bones, leave a note onto it. See if he picks it up and booby traps and kills him. You can try it that route. Since we technically know he's not going to be there for three to five days. So possibly. So here's the one. Just problem. an idea. But what's going to happen when the townsfolks are like, hey, what happened to, uh, to, to Henrik, you know, disappearing or whatever? And... That's cool. why we live in... That's why we kind of live in letting him, like, saying this is for what's-his-face on there. That way they don't open up said coffin. I mean, I'm he willing said to he try. he didn't really but... have a lot of people. Yeah. He was in the old guy. Like, really lonely. You should see some of those paintings he has downstairs. Not so good. Oh, yeah, I broke into his room down there. Oh, what was in there? I actually don't actually remember. Nothing. Oh, perfect. So, um, there was some really is... shitty water paintings. Uh, there was some, looks like maybe some, he had taken up knitting at some point and then quit. Looks like he had taken up cross stitch and then quit. Looks like he had taken up some, like, candle making and then quit. Wow. He's just a quitter of everything. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be missed. Can I search his, uh, his kitchen here? Yeah. Let me just ask the question on my mind. Why does he have vampires 
in his house. <laughs> well, he's dead. He's not answering that yeah. question. Yeah, he... To, to the he party as a whole. Him. Like, just posing the question. We don't have the answer to that, but we just clearly ran into vampires. You get a pervading sense of sadness in this kitchen. <laughs> a lot of D There's a lot of, like, D&D &D hungry man dinners. Bachelor chow, that sort of thing. <laughs> a lot of times he thought about putting the shotgun One into his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's dark, V. That's even darker than Hungry you, Man. You open up one of the drawers and there's there's a noose. <laughs> Free tied, ready to go. I'm thinking of that uh, uh, Simpsons thing where it's like, ah, not today, old friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what I'm getting out of this. Yeah. All right. Good. Pretty much. You know what? He deserved it. He let us go into a trap of vampires. I mean, we asked to, to be clear. Look, he was lying at us. He deserved everything that came to him. Oh man, the lines I drew to indicate where the sun was kind of looks like... That just makes the house look sad. <laughs> you know, the house. Like, meh. Right. <laughs> that little face. <sighs> All right. So what's our plan, guys? Well, friends and neighbors... Talk amongst yourself about what your plan is, because we're actually going to call this a stopping point, a shorter session, because um, we don't really want to get into unspooling into larger activities. This is a okay. nice natural stopping point. But also, what you should be doing is thinking about what's going to happen now that you are level four. Oh, shit. Yay! Hey! How exciting. Um, just look at your level four stuff. Uh, shoot me a text on what it is so that I can get started building it into Fantasy Grounds. And well, carry on with your discussion. Could we assume... Do you want that text, like, now? Or no, 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 before no, we no, play like a second. No, just... Just be... Yeah. In the next... Uh, in the next couple days would be ideal. Gotcha. John, did you search um, all the rooms that were downstairs already? Because if not, I'll... My... Yeah, there is only that one other room. And you don't have okay. to move around the map. Just tell me where you want to search. And... Well, yeah, I was I was just going to say, if, if he hadn't searched anything, any of the remaining stuff downstairs, I'd like to go through whatever else is down there. Um, the only thing that hasn't been searched was the uh, actual workshop that you guys first came into. I will search it! That's where he was. Yeah, yeah, because it would have been awkward to... Here, you know what? I'm not even going to have you move me. I'll just roll the perception check, and then if you want to tell me if anything's there, that's great. That sounds great. Um, a lot of tools. That's it. Just, it is, it is what it looks like. A, wo a woodworking shop. Good, good. Oh, by the way. Um, fourth level. This is a big thing. At fourth level, remember, Woo everyone can choose to increase. You can pick one of your ability scores, increase it by two, or two ability scores, increase them by one, or you can pick any feat that you qualify for. Oh, man. You know what's going to happen is I'm just going to have to sit down with uh, the books and actually flip through yeah. them and figure out what I need to do. Yeah. Yeah. There are some pretty sweet feats. But then, on the other hand, ability scores. Just depends. I'll have to look. But yeah, are we going to try and cover up this guy's murder? I'm telling you, booby trap. I don't think I did... anyone's going to come looking for him He during his nervous breakdown. Because... Yeah. Nobody ever wanted him, really, so... I do kind of like John's idea, actually, just because the, whoever he's been, you know, being an asshole for, I think it would be kind of interesting to, you know, try to catch them by hurting them in some way that, you know, would be obvious. Maybe like a vial of acid or something, so it's like, oh yeah, whoever has the acid burned onto their face clearly is the guy we need to go in talk to are we th 
thinking, though, that maybe Henrik wasn't being 100% transparent with us because he had vampires. So maybe the person, this Vasily von Holtz, maybe that wasn't the truth. Have we yeah. considered that? It's possible. Didn't we kind of suss out? I, I don't know, DM, did any of us get any inklings of him lying previously to us? Uh, you know. I mean, he was dishonest with you a lot, um, but anything you immediately thought was dishonest, you already called him out on. Okay. I think, if anything, it was perhaps that he was just withholding that piece and maybe there was even more to the business. He said he did a lot with this Von Holtz person. Yeah. Maybe Von Holtz is an agent of Strive. he who must not be named. Also, no, you gotta take that power from him. What are our thoughts about not destroying Henrik's house? I mean, I'm fine with what if, destroying it. We just need what to if we stayed it. here and created a trap for Von Holtz, okay. who's going to show up in the next week. It's a place for us to hide out and sleep, basically. Okay. I mean, that's not a terrible... I would definitely uh, I... say that our number one thing to do then would be to check all of the crates with yeah. sunshine yeah. on them to see if anything jumps out, oh, along with all the coffins and other weird nooks yeah. and crannies. I think that's a good idea. But I think staying here is smart. Yeah, I'm fine. So we're going to stay here for a week? Wait, we're going to stay and wait till the guy comes? I think we could okay. pro probably stay, like... I mean, maybe not destroy it, but, I mean, we could come back, too. I was just thinking, like, it's yeah. a perfect opportunity for us to have a place that's not the inn where people would look for us. Yeah. Uh, and l let's, let's think about this, too. So if somebody does come by looking for him that isn't... Uh, you know, I have a plan. A regular customer. Well, I was thinking uh, either Morgan or Theria could, you know, basically go out to the workshop and talk to whoever it is <coughs> and try to convince them that effectively one of them has become like his apprentice or something. And oh, you know, yep. he, he had to go out to get something. So it would just depend on which one of you two is better at convincing people. Um, who has I mean, I have a plus six on deception. I lie like a snip of all right, yeah, so it's go. gonna be her. Our, yeah, that was my my assistant. plan too. <laughs> was Morgan be the the face of the operation? The only thing I'm apprehensive about is the inn seems to be a hub for life and stuff. I've already acquired a room there, and I'm building a relationship with the innkeeper. I do think I need to at least go back tonight and perform as promised. No, that's um, fine. we can yeah. oh, yeah. them and have and have. have I can come back, back and after. Forth. You know, yeah, we don't have to stay here, but I think keeping people out and using it as like leverage well, I think is a good idea. idea. I want to keep it. Yeah, I agree. Well, I think I think somebody should stay here though, in case this the the bra shows. The guy up comes back. Yeah, um, we'll probably want to close the windows before nighttime again, though. But you know, that's just after we search all the crates and make sure that there are no vampires. Yeah running amok yeah yeah i think plan then is for next time at least i will probably go back to the end to make sure i continue to cultivate the social relationship with the innkeeper mm -hmm. and uh get my performance in then maybe come back at that night and we bunk up here I mean, I don't mind being one of the people that just stays here, you know, keeping an eye on the place. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be. Cool one... The other thing I can do is I can cast uh, uh, my friend, my, my make people friendly spell, charm, charm person, if I need what to. Oh that? Uh, okay. To uh, you know. I'm... I'm looking at feats while you guys are. are yeah, here. I'm trying to. I'm thinking about leveling up because I want to make sure that gets taken care of. Oh. Yeah, I'm digging out my books. So. Uh, yeah. So, but while you're in the, um, while you're still in Fantasy Grounds, if you go to the right hand side of your screen and click feats, there's a list of all feats from all source books. 
Oh. If we have feats over there. Yeah. yeah. I don't have... uh, then just go to your options button. Yep. Sidebar. And add feats to your sidebar. And hit the dragon to read more about the feat. Yep. Oh man, there's some good ones. So uh, I'm I'm not telling anybody what to do, but I do know that both of the gnomes uh, fade away is a gnome feat that it's fantastic. Uh, for the tiefling, the <coughs> flames of Phlegathos is pretty darn great. That actually just showed up on my screen while I was working. It on showed the up. That's the one I, I was. I accidentally shared it. Oh okay. <laughs> I think that was on my list of like things that I wanted to do. I'm going to have to dig through books because I also get a bunch of stuff through druids that fourth level extra spells and stuff. So I'm going to have to play with my stuff. So. Fourth, I think, is my easiest one. Fifth, I get the ability to, uh, as a druid to animate dead and become a gas. Oh! So I can uh, literally yeah. be one with my spores and be a gaseous spore ridden blob flying through the air yeah DM. Amber, amber's level four is literally just pick a feat or do your ability score improvements same. yeah i think that's the same with me i don't have my book in front of me so i have no idea uh if you go to the side it has classes and if you click classes you can look at classes oh. and it will tell you everything about them curiosity are we allowed to multi-class yeah if you want to that's a great question thank you for asking it Hmm. <laughs> so mine just says ability score improvement as the feature there for level fourth level. I assume I can still pick a feat as well if I'd rather that to the ability score Correct. improvement. Cool. Yeah, where it says ability score improvement, it's always an unspoken or you can do a feat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, when do we want to play next? Let's look at a calendar. Uh, you could also, there's Eldritch Versatility for the Warlock, which is was brought in by Tasha's at uh, level oh, four. No. Eldritch, I see Eldritch Adept, but I don't see Versatility on mine. Um, click on the Warlock from Tasha's instead of the one on D&D Player's Handbook. Uh, am I looking under feats or classes? Classes. Classes. So go classes, warlock, the one that's listed Lashes. under Tasha's. And then on the warlock cla tab, click other and scroll down and you'll see at level four, Tasha's adds the ability to Eldritch versatility. Um, and it basically means you can change around your occult focus and studies. So the 17th, everyone uh, free that, that Saturday? As far as I know. No. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I'm free until September. I have, sat I have Saturday training that day. Oh, wait, we're doing Saturday, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, we might be able to do Sunday. Yeah. Because I think... Sunday. I think our other group is out of town that weekend. I mean, I'm cool with the Sunday. How about the 18th? Yeah. Okay. Uh, jumping back in real quick, by the way, speaking of leveling up, uh, John, the ranger is just the ability score improvement or, or a feat. Okay, yeah. uh, but you also, again, Tasha's added in versatility. You have martial versatility. So if you want, you can change your fighting style to another one available for So if you don't want to stick with Throne, you could at this point switch over to a different fighting style. Dasha has basically added in the ability to like the classes that lock into stuff, uh, you know, like with fighting styles or martial styles or casting styles, instead of being stuck with it the entirety of your career, every four levels you get the chance to change it if you want. Mm, okay. Ooh, that's fun for my character. 
I might have to. Oh, so I get a cantrip and a spell at this level. Oh, I do get a cantrip too. And another spell. Ooh, Amber. Mm. Um, you could take the uh, the gambling talent. Great weapons master. Oh, trust you... me, that's my <laughs> top one right now. <laughs> I mean, the cri when you score a critical hit or reduce a creature to zero hit points, you can make a bonus attack. That's good, especially if you kill someone, you can cleave to someone else. Yeah. But the you can take a minus five penalty to the attack roll that gets you a plus ten to the damage. Yeah, that's, that's the awesome. good stuff. I know. <laughs> Trust me, it's the top option right now. I do like that in five e they added a lot of beats that are not just straight. You get these things. It also is like. You know, like uh, your know, tavern brawler, increase your strength or constitution by one, and then you also get this other stuff. So you're not completely missing out on ability score improvements. Yeah, that's where I was looking at um, Fey Touched. Like, that's cool. Oh, I'm looking at the telekinetic. No, oh, yeah, they touch is good. No, All right, which one were you saying earlier? Vibes with my aesthetic, or Morgan's aesthetic. For, so the gnomes have a couple of gnome only, but they have fade away, which is increase your dex or intelligence by one, and also uh, once per rest, immediately after taking damage, you can become invisible until the end of your next turn. Hmm. So if someone hits you and you're just like, no! I'm fucking out. The temptation to get inspiring leader is fun. All right, well, I will text you my thoughts. Because mm -hmm. that's how we roll in this place. Absolutely. Also, side note, comma, cowboys. Yes. Well, after I figure out this stuff. I've got to read, read through my sections just a little bit, but I'll text it to you and then, yeah, then I'm done with Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs>